Hello everyone and happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. I hope you all are enjoying your day. I am. I was blessed enough that the Lord saw fit or fit to wake me up this morning. Yes, um, had a great breakfast. My aunt made me a, it's like a meat omelet. It had ham in it, um, sausage, bacon. No, I don't need it because I got high cholesterol, mildly high. And what the doctor just told me a week ago, well, no, a couple of days ago, really. But I had the test done about almost a month ago, but the results, you know, it take a while to come in. But anyway, I did eat that omelet with my grits and my uh, raisin bread. Okay, that was on the side. Had a great breakfast. So I'm looking forward to dinner or lunch or however y'all call it. But we eat around 2 or 3 o'clock on Sunday. So I went out and bought a honey baked ham from the honey baked ham people. You know, they make it, they cook it, put all that nice sugary honey glazed uh, maple, whatever on top, you know, crispy but sweet. That ham and my mom's going to make some potato salad and, and uh, I think my daughter had got us some pound cake. So we're going to really have it. We're going to really have it. So I'm going to be off and on sleeping pretty much because that's all I really wanted to do today was relax and, you know, talk and sleep and eat and Relax some more and talk to you all. Because like I said, I don't get a chance too much during the week um, to record. So basically, it's going to be a recording day for me as well as sleeping, eating, probably getting fussed at by my mama several times throughout the day about should not be getting up doing something. Because, you know, she's in her late 70s. She'll be 79 in May. Well, the, um, shoot, I think her birthday coming up. Yes, the 17th. So, yeah, we're rolling into her birthday week this week coming and she'll be 79 years old god willing and um oh child she just saw me else i'm telling she be on my ass all the time but why you don't do this why you don't, why this look like this why you need to clean up more you need to do i'm like honey let peace be still let peace be still with the 79 year old soon to be okay but anyway and my aunt was showing me this uh, story about Bill Cosby and his confinements until they actually sent him off to prison. Now, she got it from the grocery store. She thought I would like it, too. So I'm like, they just, they just treat me all right when it's time to be loved on. So I was going to wait and try to read it, but it was just a little uh, snippet of some information because he's supposed to be held up at this home. And uh, what is it? The Philadelphia suburb, suburb is on a leafy five acre spread, okay? And he's supposed to be held up in this confinement, which is ain't never pure luxury, until his sentencing, from what they said. But from what my aunt was trying to tell me when she was reading at the grocery store and she thought she would just buy it, uh, she, you know, she knew I was following. <clears throat> Bill Cosby, as well as, you know, other little stories here and there. And it comes from the National Enquirer. And, you know, this is right here with the JFK thing on it. Uh, let me see. When is it postmarked? Uh, shoot. Oh, it's postmarked for May 21st, 2018. So it's first edition on off. Get it for $4.99 if that's your thing that floats your boat. But if you can see these little pictures here. Inside Cosby's plush prison. Let's see if I can run that by there. Y'all see it? Plush prison? Yeah. And these are pretty much where he's supposed to be held up. Mm-hmm. Give y'all that footage. I hope I'm not going too fast. But like I said, you all can definitely get it at the grocery store. I don't know if it really came up, so let me try it again. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see. That's the little part I'm going to read, y'all. Mm-hmm. But it's pretty much how they said it was a shrine that was built to, for his uh, likings, his specifications. And he's awaiting what they're going to pretty much do to him. Um, 
far as his sentencing, but this is basically where he's being held up at until <clears throat> they um, sentenced him to go to jail. Because I, I like how <clears throat> my auntie explained it to me. She was saying that he was basically going to be spending his time in this luxurious home of his uh, for the rest of his time that he's going to spend on this earth. And I'm like, that's not fair. If the uh, other people have to um, other celebrities or well-known athletes and stuff do cr cr uh, crimes of certain magnitudes, they have to go to jail. Then, you know, he got to go to jail too, you know. He's a human being, right? Okay, he committed a crime, right? Okay, so he got to go. And like I said, even if uh, some of these women are lying on him and it's just a bandwagon to just get him on a couple of, of those um assault charges, maybe not all of them. To me, he's still guilty because he completed, completed, he completely, in my eyes, uh, disrupted his marriage. Uh, he didn't take his vows serious at all. You know, maybe one or two indiscretions, but no, you don't get a third one. And you, you doing real good if you get a second one. You know what I'm saying? Because with me, one strike, you out by, because you're going to commit that crime one time, you're going to do it again and again and again. It's just in your nature. So uh, he was already convicted in my eyes by committing infidelity several times. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know how his wife, Camille, can deal with it and can stay by his side. I mean, like I said, it's one or two indiscretions. But how many women? About 30? Come on now. Come on. You done subjected yourself to a lot of STDs, uh, a lot, just a lot of mess. You know what I'm saying? And emotional you know, drainage. And I, like I said, I don't know how she do it. Maybe, you know, they got their own little open relationship marriage. I don't know, but mm -mm. wouldn't be me, would not be me. I would be like, oh, let's split our wealth. Uh, you go your way. I go my way. And and, and, and let's let's two not meet. Let's, let, let's not meet again. But like I said, if they had an open relationship, maybe she on one wing of the house and he's on the other wing of the house and they only come together for photo ops to, uh, create that united front that they're together that they're together and everything is just uh here go lucky in their relationship but basically the article from the inquirer says that inside cosby's plush prison okay here's where a convicted sex fiend is enduring house arrest okay um they go on to say creepy comic bill cosby's on the Home confinement as he awaits sentencing for drugging and sexually assaulting Andrea or Andrea Constant in 2004. And National Enquirer has spies have exclusive have exclusively photographs of the predator's five million dollar prison palace, including a room with a shrine to himself. The mansion sits on a leafy five acre spread, leafy five acre spread in a Philadelphia suburb. The 80 year old sicko who lived in lap of luxuries since his conviction last month facing 30 years behind bars. That's what the National Enquirer wrote about Mr. Bill. Okay. And they went around this, this man's home and filmed everything that was possible. You know, like I said, it's somebody on the inside gave them the scoop of sent pictures because ain't no way in the world, you know, People can walk on your property and get inside your home and photograph all this stuff unless somebody uh, basically was there uh, to let them in. Because even this picture right here shows a camera. Well, let me see. Right here shows a camera uh, with footage on the outside, meaning it is being monitored. And then, you know, you got a little stationary phone that you probably would have in an office setting. But he got one, I guess, for the security system to let people know who's on the property. And if you can closely see, that's the mansion that they're talking about in the center face down here. I'm going to think of it. This will be right. That dog it. Okay. Right here. This is the mansion that they're talking about. If you can see it, I can get the camera up there. So, like I said, you can definitely go to any grocery store in your local community. Go to the magazine stand. Got JFK up on there. You know, and pick up and read the little excerpt that they basically put in there about him. 
Oh, gosh. But like I said, he got to go. He got to go. In my eyes, he just had to go for committing infidelity. Okay. Yeah. All righty then. But that's pretty much it. Okay. And, um, yeah. Anybody care about to hear about their horoscopes today? Let me just go through them real quickly. Like I say, I'm on my leisure. It's Mother Day. And I'm doing whatever I want to do. And this video was just that. Okay. Uh, maybe I should do some um, reading through the magazines with y'all. Get my opinion on certain stories that's happening out and about in the world today. Because like I said, National Enquirer been sued so much. They can't put out no craziness uh, in here because they'll get sued. They'll get sued. And they don't got sued so many times in the past. They said, uh-uh, we might as well get the truth. And let the truth be set free. Okay. So I kind of uh, get to them as being the one that will definitely put out some stuff that's pretty much true. Okay. But anybody who's an Aries, um, that's March 21st, date of birth, uh, well, month of birth through April 20th, it says, you want to slow down. Excitement is in the air, but it's also causing you to feel exhausted. So take all the time you need to replenish your mind, body, and soul. All right? And I guess if you gamble, uh, like pay the lot lottery or lotto or something like that, or go to the casinos, they say your lucky numbers is 6, 19, and 24. Okay? That was Aries. We're going to move on to Taurus. If you are uh, your month is birthday month is April 21st through May 21st. It says you'll soon get time to process what's been happening in a relationship. If signals have been mixed, clarity can now be gained. Ask questions you need the answers to. And your lucky numbers are two, five, and seven. Then we got the Gemini, uh, May 22nd through June 21st. There's a serious decision to make. Concerning a new job. All right. Opportunity. The details you are getting could be open to interpretation. Be sure to ask for more information. That's right. Get all the information before you step out. Okay. Pray about it. And let the Lord do the rest. Okay. Your lucky numbers are 1, 10, and 11. Then we got cancer. June 22nd, July 22nd. Okay. Other people are putting up roadblocks to an easy transition. And you'll have to work around them as quickly as possible. Being aware is half the battle. Okay. All right. If you know what's coming ahead of you, you know what to do in preparation. Okay. Your lucky numbers are 8, 9, and 12. Go to Leo, July 23rd, August 23rd. If you've been dealing with a breakup or disappointment, you'll soon see a light at the end of the tunnel. The challenge will prove to be a blessing in disguise. Well, all right then. Lucky numbers are 23, 26, 44. If you're a Virgo, August 24th, September 22nd. <sighs> Your extra efforts pays off this week. A fresh start is yours for the taking. You may find yourself having to choose between your past and your present. Okay, that's right. Sit and definitely marinate on that. Lucky numbers 9, 23, and 48. Uh, we have Libra, September 23rd, October 22nd. You will finally make a decision you've been putting off for weeks. Clear the air with someone in person. Big breakthrough, uh, big breakthroughs are possible this week. Lucky numbers are 2, 11, and 20. Uh, Scorpio, October 23rd, November 21st. You may decide to scale a lofty goal down and rethink an idea. Get all of your ducks in a row before you invest any time or money in a new direction or project. Lucky number six, seven, and nine. Sagittarius, November 22nd, December 21st. Be extra careful about falling for a slick sales pitch. Someone wants to sell you something that is not what it appears to be. Mm-hmm. Con artist. Remember that as you move through the month, your lucky numbers are 3, 14, and 30. Capricorn, December 22nd, January 20th. The fall lifts surrounding a relationship. And you will know where you stand. Whether you experience an awakening or a lovely surprise, you will be able to start a fresh chapter. Well, okay. Lucky numbers 7, 9, and 21. Aquarius. That's me. Okay. January 21st, February 18th. 
New avenues are headed your way. Praise the Lord. You enjoy meeting people who remind you of special relationships from your past. Okay? That happens all the time. They help you reevaluate what you need from others. Lucky numbers 2, 3, and 11. Okay, Pisces, February 19th, March 20th. While you want, while you may want to hash things out with co-workers, it might be best to wait until next week when the cosmic forces create a more congenial energy for a conversation. Lucky numbers are 3, 6, and 10. Now, if anybody believes in horoscopes, a hey, uh, that's what they say. I don't necessarily believe in horoscopes. I like when they say good things and then I ponder on my life where it is now and, you know, things that are happening in my life. But I'm a full-fledged Christian. Well, you know, I'm a Christian. I'm, I'm a Christ lover, follower. Um, believe in Yeshua, Yahweh, and uh, Jesus Christ, however y'all want to put it. I go to the Bible for direction and meditation for him to definitely set me on my right path. So, you know, fortune cookies, you know, they're nice to look at. But like I said, I always uh, pray about your situation if you're a prayerful person. If you're a spiritual person, you know, go in meditation, you know, do what you have to do. And just live your life uh, to be pleasing, not to yourself, but to the Lord and people around you. Because they people look at you and they sometimes want to mold themselves after you because they think you're a great person, you're a nice person to emulate. So I always do things in the right spirit, be uh, peaceful with everyone as possible, you know, because I know, hey, we all have faults. We sh uh, fall short of God's direction for us every day, every day. I know I do. I know I do. And I don't do it. I don't be doing it intentionally, but sometimes people just get on your nerves, you know what I'm saying? And it just seems like you just want to lash out. And it's not a good thing because you need to pray about it after you lash out because it's not of you, you know what I'm saying? It's just you want that quick release, and sometimes that quick release may harm you a little further, but sometimes it just is what it is, okay? But y'all enjoy y'all Mother's Day, and I'll be back for other things, you know, just bear with me and be with me this Mother's Day, and, um, you know, we'll be happy go lucky. But, you know, if you want to get out there, plant some flowers, or if you just want to relax, it's your day. You know, dads should be, you know, treating you like queens. Your boyfriend should be treating you like queens. Uh, husbands should be treating their wives like queens. Just everything. Just lovely today. You know, you're going to have to do it the same thing with fathers that come. But if you're a mother that happens to be the father and the mother, then you get two days. I don't care what them folk be saying out there because they, hey. It is what it is. So that's how I look at it. If you ain't got no man in your life, or you're, you know, you're raising kids by yourself and you ain't get no support from the, the male, then hey, it just is what it is. Same thing with uh, fathers. If you got a deadbeat mother that ain't doing nothing, don't want to do nothing, just, you know, want to carefree, have their life, forget about the kids, then you have two days. You're a mother today, okay? And when it comes to father, because your gender, you got that day too. So that's just how I feel about it. That's how I roll with it. Peace and blessings to everybody. Have a great day. And like I said, I'll be back. Share my videos. Comment. Be respectful, though. And uh, like them. And, you know, take me to the stratosphere. I'm trying to get the uh, 2000. I'm trying to bring my channel back. I'm trying to be more devoted to it. You know what I'm saying? So I can help my uh, daughter with her business and help it grow and, and go into the stratosphere. If you haven't been to her um, website, uh, please go over there. Uh, Star J Craziness. She's a YouTube celebrity, I call her. And uh, she also has her own business now called PineappleLondon25.com. Go on over there and purchase some goody goodies, okay? Because definitely you're going to need them hater blockers or how y'all young folks call them. I call them sunshade blockers. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, the sun just be in my eyes. It's beautiful, but sometimes I can't look at it directly and it beams down on me. Okay, so go on and get them hater blockers over there. Um, take a look at the OG side that uh, I'm still trying to help her develop for the older season folks, such as myself, that can be taking all these uh, other kind of frames that be out there. We just want something to block the uh, sun out of our eyes. Okay, because we shine too bright already. But, you know, it just is what it is. We like to look good, okay? And we want to be covered. So, uh, again, go to pineapplelondon25.com and check out her selections she has, okay? Peace and blessings to you all. And I'll see you soon for something. Okay, bye.